North North Carolina. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Carries the ball for a nice game. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. He gets another carry. And he throws it away. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. Fires it out, brought down at the 49. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Got some open field. He's taken down at the 40. Carries the ball. That's good for a gain of nine yards. Let's go. That'll make it second and in inches. Kill, kill. Blue four. And he's taken down at the 37. That's a gain of three on the play. First down. Chase. Slings it, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. Number 20 makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. First down. Red two. Gets it out quickly, and he's tackled around the 12-yard line. That's a game of 11 play. That makes it first and 10. Let's go, we got this, we got this. Under heavy pressure. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. He lets it fly. Dropped. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. That'll make it fourth and ten. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 29. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space. And I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Wake Forest is up by a touchdown. Quick pass. They'll drop in for a loss. The 
he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Makes the grab and steps out right away. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. So the coach challenges the call, and they're going to try to determine if the receiver made the catch inbounds. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands from their own 47-yard line. First down. Tackle at about the 45. He's at the 40, keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's at the 20, and they make the stop around the 14-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Wake Forest is up a score. made around the five-yard line. Touchdown, Wake Forest! He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That makes it third and three. Big opening! And they get nice yardage on that run. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Fires out to his wideout. He's at the 30 for the 20. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. Big gain there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big gain. get him for a loss. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. From the 22-yard line, second down. Here we go! He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long.
And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, watch your leg. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Ready. Black. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. If something had been open downfield, they might have taken a shot. But all the defense gave them was the short yardage play. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away, it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. North Carolina State is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one, great kick. Wake Forest has got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point. Keep their foot on the accelerator. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and, and ten. ten. Got an opening. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll bring up second and three. Makes the grab past the marker. We've played one. Wake Forest leads 14-3. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Give to the tailback. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. Throws quickly back to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. And he's leveled at the 26-yard line. Gaining four yards. Four down, four down. That makes that it makes second, second and six. six. E9, E9, E9. 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 Yellow 20. Yellow three. three. Gets out to around the 18. That's a game of eight on the play. That, that makes it first and ten. ten. Check, green, check, green, green, nine. Green, nine. Green, nine. Green, nine. Green, nine. Green, nine. He makes it to the 15 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Up the middle for a nice game. Tenth play of the drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's under some heat. 
brought down at about the 43 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to mic the 47. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Nice run there. Flips it middle to the running back. He's taken down at about the 25 yard line. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for him. That makes it second and two. And he's taken down at about the 41. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 25 yard line. yards and that play was snuffed out from the get-go you're right it's a delayed handoff to the tailback and the defense wasn't fooled at all there catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line loss of three they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated them there down and they need to get it to the 15. Check, check. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Here we go. Black. What a play and that is first and goal. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Pack. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wake Forest's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Steps out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Wake Forest is up seven. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 38. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Motion, motion, motion. Go! Throws to the back quickly. Off his hands, incomplete. Drill at the 40. Easy, easy. That's good for a game. Two, 20. That makes it first and 10. Red, two. Orange, three. Orange, three. Oh. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. You know, the safety's responsibility, Brad, is to always make sure nothing is going to get behind him. He cannot ever get beat deep. But also, he has a responsibility to step up and make a play on the football go, in front of him. It's just Green, another example nice. of a defensive motion, back, in this case, a safety, just having really good instinct to be able to come up and know when to come up to knock that ball away. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 27. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 2010, Wake Forest. He sends this one deep. Looks like they're ready for the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They try running left, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. 2010, Wake Forest. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. 
That's a fumble. They fall on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. We're about set to start things up again. Four down, four down. 43 is the mic. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he throws it away. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 38. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 29. gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down very good tackle in space Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 48. Again with a carry. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. Let's go. That brings up seven to nine. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Let's go. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. out to around the 22. Quick pass. Nice play to set up first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. They'll knock him down for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Third and goal. Ball on the 12. 41's coming. 41's the mic. I'm coming. I'm coming. Here we 
go! They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Wake Forest, up seven points. They give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 26. And he's level at the 36-yard line. And they'll bring it down behind the line. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. Complete. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Defense championship, baby. Brought down at the 43. That'll make it second and four. Here we go. Here we go. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. Here he goes. He's at the 20. To the 10. And he will score. Will be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Carolina State lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And he's tackled right away. Number 20 brings him down at the 35 yard line. First down. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 33-yard line, third down. Almost had it, but it's incomplete. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40, looking for the corner. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, NC State! He makes 
the PAT. That's three down and one to go. NC State's lead is a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. This is a crucial drive in this football game. This offense has got to be able to move down and score a touchdown. And for the defense, they're thinking about, hey, guys, if we can come up with one more stop, we can get our own offense on the field, and maybe we can secure a victory here. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. That's good. First down. Play action, throws, end zone. That was a big, big score, and it makes it a one-possession game, but we've still got a lot of football left. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A short two-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute in the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Solid five-yard pickup there on the hatback option. And he almost has the INT. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Now he's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. And he's taken down around the 48 yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He fights forward to around midfield. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Makes the sack. Loss of two on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Quick throw to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. That's a game of ten. First down. Three down, three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. 
False start, start offense. offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's first bound first. to happen occasionally. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Red two. Six. <laughs> Wants to go long and does. And he holds it in deep downfield. To the 20, to the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. He's making his presence felt with three catches for scores. This receiver has just been unstoppable. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. It's exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets it out quickly, and he shoved out of bounds at the 41. <laughs> Throws into coverage, just picked off. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. Less than three minutes in the game. Set. Oklahoma. Motion. Motion. Back screen. Incomplete. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. down now and they need to get it to the 18. Green nine, green nine, green nine. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three, yellow three. Go. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. NC State's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Throws incomplete. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Makes it second and ten. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Let's go. 
Tackle made at about the 27 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And he is drilled at the 31 yard line. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 28. That brings up second and 13. He wants it all. And this one's broken up. That safety got in the way on that one. He made a great play on the ball and he kept it from being a big gain. Excellent awareness to get a hand on the football. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle at about the 49. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. We have less than a minute to go. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. They go back to him on a quick throw. He scores! What a play!
There's the extra play. point to tie this game up. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Under a minute left. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This receiver's been having himself a great game. Well, Brad, he really has, and he's got the hot hand. And let's give some credit to the offensive coordinator, because he's smart enough to get the football to him and allow him to make these plays that's helping this offense out. And the thing that we're seeing is he has speed to burn. And when he gets behind the defense, there's virtually no chance of stopping him. His stats have already made a big impression, but if he can contribute a touchdown here, he'd be the hero. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Green nine, green nine. He fires left side. Got him. Inside the 30. Oh, so close to breaking it. He's been firing it all game long, and he's now got 400 yards. The guy has done a great job moving the sticks all day long. He's a really good player. Tackled after a decent pickup. Demon Deacons on this call at timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 14-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He's on the run. North Carolina State will take their final timeout. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. It's final, a close one to the very end. Wake Forest, 41, North Carolina State, 34. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? What a great win. To come in without anyone really giving them a chance and to earn this one is a terrific achievement. Wake Forest got these guys into a dogfight, and in the end, they just wanted it more. They made the plays they weren't supposed to make and won a game nobody thought they would win. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.